So now that we have our character um, running around, we want to go ahead and start adding the ability for our character to detect our player. So let's go ahead and open up our enemy blueprint. I'm going to dock it up here. So in our um, component here, we want to do a we want to look for a um, pawn seeing component. There it is, pawn sensing. So what this will give us is some some new abilities to our blueprint script. So make sure that your component is selected. And we want to search for on pawn C. Sorry, on C pawn. So what this does is when the enemy first sees the player in the line of sight, that's when this launches. So what we want to do is select the um, first person character uh, first person character. So we're kind of marking what we're going to be seeing in sight. Now what we're going to be doing is all of this information is going to be stored in the blackboard. So I'm just going to get my blackboard node. So here's our blackboard node. Ooh. And then what we want to do is um, for target, I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to select self. So it's just getting a reference to the same blackboard. Now we need to set the value of our blackboard. So the return value here, we're going to get set value as object here. And then we want to connect our character here. And then we want to get our object value, which is going to be our character. Now we never created a key that we're going to be storing in our blackboard. So for now, I'm just going to give it a default value. So um, we want to get a literal name. And I'm just going to type in here player actor because that's going to be the key that we're going to use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and comment this so that you don't have to hear all the typing. So I'm going to highlight all this and hit C. And I'm going to go ahead and enter my comment. So what we have is when the player is seen, store that knowledge in the blackboard. I'm going to go ahead and compile and save that. Oh, we forgot to attach our pawn to our object here. So let's compile and save that. So let's jump back into here and open up our behavior tree. And we're going to shoot back to our blackboard. What we want to do is create a um, a key that's in, that's going to um, store the data for a new behavior tree that's going to control the movement for attacking our, uh, our actor or chasing our actor. So go ahead and hit new key and we're going to do another object. I'm going to just paste in that same player actor name. You'll see it appears here. For our player description, we're just going to put the player character. Same thing, object, and then type of actor. Let's go ahead and save that. All right, go ahead and click on your behavior tree. And you can see here that we have this. We have our player actor here added to our keys. So let's go down here a little bit. What I want to do is shift these over because we're going to add a new sequence. And what I'm going to name this one oops, is attack player. And we want it to the mo to the very left of it. So it's going to detect this first. And then if it's not within range, we'll move to move to. Now what we want to do is um, we want to see if we can see the player, right? And one of the ways of doing that without adding another sequence in between them is with a decoder node. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to, go to add decoder. And what I want to do is add blackboard. Now the blackboard uh, node here is going to pull from, it's, it's referencing this here, right? See how it says patrol point is set. It's referencing this blackboard. Okay, so go ahead and select your blackboard. 
And we want to make sure that we are on results chains and observer only aborts when it's lower priority. So what this is saying is everything below this, once it, when this result changes, right, we're in the attack player sequence, all of these are not active. So what we're looking for for the blackboard key is we want the player actor. So, and then what I want to do is change my node name to can see player. So you can see that here. And what we want to do is get our player from attack player back to bit move to. So all I'm going to do is drag out a sequence from here to here. So let's make sure this is connected too. You know what we can do is we'll just add another move to task node here. And then we'll add, with this selected, we'll go ahead and make this player actor. And then here, we'll do another wait. And I'm going to go ahead and change this wait time for two, because that's probably the amount of time it'll take to, um, you know, for an attack to take. Now we need to create a new task that will um, reset every time our player can see. So we're going to go ahead and create a new task up here. All right, so we want to rename this. So let's go back here. And you can see here that it created a new blueprint class. I'm just going to rename this reset value, reset value tasks. And if we double click it, you can see it takes us back there. This just creates a new um, event graph for us to work from. All right, for our node name, I'm going to go ahead and name it reset value. All right, we're going to create two new variables. Um, this one is first going to be a key, and they're both going to be referencing our um, blackboard. And the second one is going to be of type actor, and I'm just going to name it actor. So we want to add a node or an event that is triggered when it's activated in the behavior tree. So we're going to do an event. Let's see. Event active. Event receive. Execute. That's what I want. So the second the event is received throughout the blueprint, it's going to execute it. Next thing we need to do is set our blackboard object value as an object. Remember we made the two. We made an actor and um, we made our blackboard object. So remember if you hold control and scroll out you can grab that. So we're going to do that key here and then this is going to be our actor here. And then we just need our target. Actually, we'll just close this off with an execution node. All right, so I went ahead and commented this. I paused the video and I zoomed in. So this is setting our Blackboard key value to another actor, or it's set to null. And it's generally a good idea to do that, to not leave it open, or you'll get errors. So I'm going to compile and save this. And uh, let's go back to our enemy behavior tree. Now what we want to do is we want to add that new reset value task that we created here. And if we drag this out and we go under tasks now, you should be able to see uh, if it didn't update right away, what we can do is we can just type it in. So reset, you'll see now it pops up under tasks. So I'm going to actually move all three of these guys over. So let's go ahead and save this. And now, um, if we press play, I should be in what range? Yeah, I see how he's chasing after me. So if I run up here or whatever, he's still chasing me. All right, so I think that's enough for now. 
we'll set up the attack stuff. Um, 